Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. We are at home doing a million and one things, but I figured I would vlog today and tomorrow. It's Tuesday now, so I'll vlog all day today and then all day tomorrow. And in this vlog, I'm gonna show you kind of an update of the apartment because remember I was doing that series, like the apartment series, and then we went to Ireland. And then when I came back, I was kind of just ordering stuff. I didn't want it to be like in dribs and drabs almost. Um, but we have got lots of new things in over the last few weeks. So I figured this video will be, I forget what number it is. I think it's maybe number nine. I'll write the number on the screen, but like episode number nine. And just in case you missed the rest of the episodes, you can watch the whole progress of our decorating <laughs> since we moved here. Um, I tried to document as much as I could. So yeah, I'll link those videos down below as well if you wanna have a look. And then today's video will be the latest ones. So I'll film that tomorrow because it is so dull and rainy in New York today. Like, I don't even think you're gonna be able to see. And I could film, like it's still pretty bright, but it's much nicer in here when it's sunny and you can see things better. See, it's so dull. I think it's like even forecasted to snow possibly today. So I'll just vlog normally today what we're up to. We have some really fun events and stuff tonight. I'm about to film another video. We were just outside shooting a campaign for Marks and Spencers, which is always good. This is actually from them as well. I was shooting something cashmere for them, so hopefully they turned out nice. And then tonight we have two events, one with Vestair, you know, the secondhand site that I absolutely love. They're having an event and they invited me. And there's actually something very exciting part of the event that I'll show in the vlog tomorrow maybe. And then after that, we have a dinner with, with Nordstrom and a brand that they stock called, I think you pronounce it Halogen or, yeah, it must be Halogen. But they do a collaboration with one of my blogger friends here in New York, Blair ED. So they invite us to a dinner and it's my first time going to the new Nordstrom. They've opened a big flagship store kind of up near Columbus Circle. So I'm gonna go up there, check that out, have a nice dinner and then come home. And go to sleep <laughs> so it's going to be a busy day we have a lot we've already done a lot actually and we've a good bit left to do but i figured i'd vlog anyway and bring you with us so that's the plan i'm gonna get filming my other video Kel's helping me with some returns i bought new boots but they're the wrong size unfortunately so they have to go back and then i also bought a new rug where's that box oh you can kind of see here i'll show you that tomorrow but i think that's going back to i don't love it so yeah always um so hard buying online sometimes, especially when it comes to interior stuff, because you really do have to see it in person. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this is working, but we'll chat about that tomorrow. But for now, <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna get fed on the other one and I'll check back in soon. Okay, I'm ready to do a gift guide and Kim, what are you doing? I'm handling your necklaces. Why? Because you're crazy and everything is tangled together. Your Kellen is the patient one in our family. Not this one. Oh, good. Okay. Woohoo! She got it. My God. Okay. A few hours later, video is just downloading. I think it turned out pretty good, so I'll link that down below if you want to see it. There's some good ideas in there. It's just five o'clock now. I'm gonna get ready. I did my makeup earlier for a shoot, but I have to like top it up and stuff and put a few more curls through my hair and then pick out something to wear. I think these events are gonna be kind of fancy, so I might dress up but in a warm way, if that's possible. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. And ready, so I kept on the black pole neck, but I just added some earrings. My YSL blazer that you would have seen in a video not too long ago, and then I'll just show you what else I have on. And then I just put on some skinny jeans. I was gonna do a wide leg, but I'm kind of going more for this look and it's freezing as well. And then my Gucci boots, they're getting their first wear. So kind of simple, but I still feel dressed up and comfortable which is the main thing so ready to go now first the vestiary event and then Nordstrom. Tough. 
through YouTube and through Tara. Tara, if you're watching. Um, she's so good. I'll leave her link in the description box. Definitely go follow her channel. She does lots of like thrifting and like consignment and stuff like that. So if you like those videos I do, you'll like her channel. <laughs> My dear friend, you know I give in. Been waiting so long to feel it. All of these years, I've been listening. Are you all so numb? Do you still pretend? We felt the sunshine, we found the gold. We thought we'd be forever young, but now I know. We can't keep floating, we have to fall. This is the beat of broken. Good morning, next day. It is so much sunnier. The weather forecast actually was right. It never shows, my camera never shows the blue sky when I turn it around. Um, but it's a much nicer day, so I'm gonna show you a few bits around the apartment. I have to head out to a few more meetings this morning. Um, last night was actually so nice. We went to the vestiaire event first, which was really cool, and then the second event was with Blair Eady, who is so lovely. She's like one of these bloggers that, she's like an OG. Like, I've been following her for so long. Like, her style isn't necessarily the same as mine, but I just respect how she's done things. And even when people were talking about her at the event, like her boyfriend, I think, or fiance, um, he just made such a nice speech about her and kind of like along the lines of, you know there's a reason that she's done really well it's kind of like you know the things that people don't see behind the scenes like not just online but she's actually a really nice humble down-to-earth person behind the scenes like she's kind she's good to people and that's what it's all about like I'm, i don't think i'm explaining it well but it was just a really nice event with like good people and that's always a treat you know so that was last night but anyway this morning as promised i'm going to show you the few new bits i've got since we kind of did the last interiors update then i'll quickly show you my outfit kind of um casual but it's freezing it's like minus today it's in the minuses so i'm gonna pop on loads of jackets over this other way and then i'll bring you with me i have i think four yeah, four things to go to. Okay, so first off, let me show you the dining area update. Okay, so the last interiors video you would have seen for me was when I did the reupholster on the chairs, and I'll pop in a picture of how these chairs used to look. <laughs> There's actually a big improvement, and I remember in that video, they were brown at the time, like brown wood, and I was kind of in between whether I'd leave them the brown or or whether I would stain them black and in the end I went with the black and, and guys I am so happy with them they were actually so easy to do I got this like black stain Tommy helped me there's probably a few <laughs> little bits here and there that aren't perfect but I mean not bad for a DIY that we did in the apartment because obviously I don't have an area to do it so we did it before we went upstate and then we like let the place obviously air while we were gone um but they turned out really nice so quick and easy to do and what a steal like i remember i mentioned that i in case you missed that last video i bought these chairs second hand six of them for i think it was 270 and i did this diy because i was looking at chairs exactly like this i'll pop in a picture as well which were like three four hundred dollars each and I needed at least four anyway, so I just couldn't justify spending that much money, so DIY to the rescue. So really happy with them. And then, I don't know if I've shown you the table. I actually can't even remember at this stage because it's been a while, but this is the dining table we went for. It is so stunning. It's a black marble dining table. I was looking for something like this for so long. Couldn't find anything within my budget, so I kind of just held out and then, one day, I finally found it, and I actually need to turn around the camera and tell you the story. So as I said, everything was so expensive, and it's a rental. Like, more than likely we'll probably move, you know, in the next, we'll probably stay here for like two years, max. Like, that's how it works in New York. So I don't know if my dining table is gonna suit the next apartment, so I don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on a dining table. Sorry if you can hear that, I think they're drilling downstairs. Um, 
So I was searching and searching for something that, you know, wasn't crazy expensive. And one of my followers <laughs> sent me a message. Maybe she's watching, completely forget her name, but it's in my DMs. And she sent me a message and she was like, she was like, Erica, this is very random, but there's this website and store called Bob's Discount Furniture. <laughs> Never heard of it, but I went on and they had, she's like, she's like, I think I saw this black marble table on there for like, not too bad. It worked out, I think I had 400 altogether and I think that actually included shipping and it's still not cheap cheap obviously for a dining room table but, but for this black marble style I was looking for it was way cheaper than anything else I was looking for and the quality is absolutely amazing and I actually saw the same table I think in grey on overstock for like 900 that means I got about 500 off it in Bob's discount store so random place that I'd never heard about but I really recommend it not sponsored anything paid for it but truly recommend it. I think it delivered in two days. The shipping wasn't that expensive. They came up to the apartment, put it together, like carried it, obviously it's kind of heavy. So yeah, really, truly happy with how it turned out. So that's the table and chairs. And obviously you've seen the mirrors before. These are from, or this box, it's for returns. Um, these are from CB2 and I think definitely one of my favorite parts of the apartment. It just opens up this small space so much. It really brings like a bit of light over here and it's the first thing people always like comment on when they come in. So really happy with them. And then this wall is still a work in progress. So I haven't shown you this yet, but basically there's no ceiling light in this area and at nighttime it can get quite dark. So I had this idea to do a sconce on the wall and I actually ordered two sconces because I wanted to see which one suit best and then I was gonna just obviously return the other one but the second sconce ended up being on back order after I'd paid for it and I have no idea when it's gonna arrive I've been emailing them back and forth and to be honest they haven't been most accommodating so in the end I just popped this one up. I will see when the other one comes, if it eventually comes, but I put this one up here right now and just two like pictures that I had. I think this is definitely temporary. Like I'll see when the other sconce comes, it's bigger. So it might just need, you know, the space by itself and no pictures. But for now I popped this up because it is nice to have the light. Like, let me plug it out so you can actually see it better. This is it, like it's really, really cool. It's very restoration hardware vibes and I got this for much cheaper on, was it Overstock or Wafer? One of them, but I'll link it down below anyway. It comes in a few different styles, really nice, easy to do. Tommy like fused it up for me. This obviously isn't ideal, but you actually don't really notice it that much. I'm just like really close up to it now. <laughs> so it's kind of annoying, um, but yeah, happy with how this is like for now and we'll see in the future if we change it. Okay, then moving over to the living area, the first piece we have to talk about, the new art piece. I am, um, I just adore it. And you'll know this wall has been bare, like bare for six months because if there's one thing I didn't want to rush into, it was the piece above the couch. Because when you walk in the door, like it is the first thing you see. I mean, everyone's different, but it kind of is that focal point of the room that it's the first thing people comment on and even when I had the girls over last weekend it was the first piece that they all kind of mentioned or like spoke about when they came in and I just think it was really important to wait so how this actually came about it was one of my followers maybe you're watching <laughs> Alyssa but she follows me I think either here on YouTube or on Instagram and I think she probably had seen that I didn't have anything above the couch for so long. So she reached out to me and she's an artist herself. And she was like, I'd love to commission you a piece. And I was like, oh my God, that would be amazing. So I clicked into her page and I do get messages from people and I kind of know straight away, like if they're my style, like as you can tell, my style is minimal, abstract, like black, white nudes and stuff. And I clicked into her page. And if you go onto her Instagram, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But straight away, I was like, perfect you are exactly <laughs> my style so she made this for me and sent it to me and oh my god I'm just I'm gonna have it forever I absolutely love it so let me turn around and show you properly okay so here is a proper look I actually don't even think the camera does it justice like in person it is so just 
chic but statement if that makes sense like it's really simplistic but has such an impact on the room and as you can see just white black and this kind of like tanny cream color we decided on together please ignore that drilling i don't know what they're doing down there but it's been going on all morning and then this black part here so i just like sent her some inspiration pictures and she completely got my vision what i was going for in the room and i absolutely love it so thank you so much and if any of you are looking for like art or you want to have a look or get something commissioned definitely get in touch with her she's brilliant then kind of a smaller update i guess um i just added some new decor to the coffee table so just in case you haven't seen it before i have this marble wait the light will be better this way i have a black marble coffee table which suits the table over here so well and oh this is just like i'm loving it more and more the more i have it definitely was an investment piece but again something i'm gonna have forever like in whatever apartment i go to next and then i just added these vases i've kind of been playing around with like how to style this table and i tried books i'm just gonna sit down for a minute <laughs> i tried books i tried like different candles and i don't know it was all feeling like a little bit too cluttered so in the end i just kept it really simple and i might even remove these candles over to the dining table but i do like them there as well so i'll leave them both for now but i especially love these vases um they're from a brand called oka and if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen that we did a collaboration together and i just adore them i was looking for this exact thing <laughs> then they got in touch to collaborate and i saw these on their site and straight away i knew it was a perfect fit so i got the small one and the bigger size one and then these candles are from cb2 I've mentioned them before, really like them as well. Just like glam, but not too glam, if that makes sense. So that's the current situation there. And then you'll have seen, I moved the mirror to this corner and I know lots of you are probably like, I don't think that goes there, Erica. Like, I think it would be better somewhere else. And trust me, I've tried it so many places in this room, but this room is small. There's no denying it, it's a small space and as you know from my vlogs and my Instagram, I love to show my outfit every day in the mirror. And when it was over here, the background, it just wasn't cutting it. The light wasn't as good when I was like showing my mirror picture. Yeah, I just didn't love it. So I moved it over here and it's probably not ideal. It's kind of like a little bit blocking the window, but it doesn't really matter because I don't love this building anyway. Like the view over this way is lovely at nighttime, but during the day, I don't mind that kind of blocks that green <laughs> building right there and i just love it here and you can really see the apartment in the background which i love as well so i like it here for now and it's kind of like it, it goes but it's also kind of a work thing for me you know it's important for me to have a good space to actually be able to show things so. okay and the last little update are these new lamps which i really like as well these had actually been on back order for i think two months so i knew that they were coming but I couldn't imagine them until they actually came. And I think straight off the bat, this is wrong. I just have them here for now. Just, I wanted to see like the height and if they went and I have, on, I have them on either side. So I just wanted to get an idea, but these are the side tables that I had in the bedroom. But I think it needs something like really small and square. Let me know in the comments. I think that's the vibe it needs. It needs kind of, it needs like that symmetry so i'm going to keep an eye out for something more suitable but for now that's good until i get the the other ones but yeah i really like these they're also from oka and you can get them in a cream shade as well i think too this kind of gives a better view as well all coming together nicely i'm also working on the entryway area a little table i'm looking for kind of a runner rug so i'll let you know in the next video if i find that and yeah we're more or less there finally <laughs> six months later and i'm not gonna lie like this apartment has been a little bit of a labor of love and i love decorating but i'm so fussy and i've said this so many times so it does take me a while to get it right like i hate rushing things and whenever i rush something like the rug for example like i don't like it so there's no point like you're always better off to wait and find the pieces that you truly love and like just make you happy and you want to keep them for the next place and the next place or you want to keep them forever if you're in your forever home so don't be disheartened like i definitely went through a phase when i was like oh my god is this place ever 
going to get done. I'm never going to finish it. And I think everyone goes through that when you're decorating. Kind of goes like, you kind of go through that phase where you just want it to be over, but keep going and keep searching. And you'll kind of find those pieces when you least expect it, like this art. Love how that worked out. I'm so glad that I waited. So that's the update. And I had the girls over for just some really casual drinks at the weekend. And what they all kind of said when they came in, which honestly made me so happy. They were like, oh my God, it looks even better in person. And I think that's really important because I feel like online, you know, you can see these beautiful rooms or like hotels even, or people's apartments and they make it look really good. And then you see it in person and you're like, this looks completely different. Like this isn't as, this isn't how it is <laughs> on your channel or like on your Instagram or on the hotel website, whatever it is. So I think that was the best compliment I could have got when they came in. They were like, oh my God, it's literally even better in person. So I was like, thank God, six months later, it's all coming together. So yeah, it was a fun little project. <laughs> and I will be doing a proper like tour once we get it all done and I can do like a bedroom tour separately let me know what you want to see or like any other kind of interior decorating videos or tips or DIY let me know in the comments because now that it's kind of at this stage I can start filming that stuff but I definitely wanted to show you the process first and the successes and the fails because that's important and that's the stuff that people don't show you they don't show you that they've ordered five rugs before they get the proper one and had to return and return and return. So yeah, I just really wanted to do it that way. So hopefully you've been enjoying it. But anyway, I better go. I'm drilling. Oh my God, what is going on? Um, Where's my phone? Bet you I'm late. Yep, 10 past one. I was supposed to leave at one. Okay, I got a rush. I got to put on like four jackets because it's freezing today. And then I will, yeah, I'll bring you with me. Um, quickly, I'm just wearing H&M jumper. Sarah leggings and my Celine boots. I'll try and show you properly. Too. Okay, I've been so bad at vlogging all the things I've been to, but the last thing I was just at was here on Madison Avenue, kind of near where Barney's is. Um, it was just a press preview for a bag brand, and I just have one more event now with Bed Bath and bed bath and beyond so i'm gonna go to that next and then time to go home it's freezing i am so cold but we're nearly done finally back home um as i mentioned i really didn't get a chance to vlog that much it was so cold i was just like running from meeting to meeting but i met with my management team which was great i got to catch up and just kind of talk about the busyness coming up over the next few weeks and then i went to some like christmas previews a bag brand coats jewelry and then i went to a bed bath and beyond preview the last stop which was nice it's at um an agency called allison broad and i work with them a good bit and they have some cool brands so i always like to pop in and support and now i'm just home and remember yesterday pretty sure I mentioned this but remember yesterday I said that I was going to the Vestier Collective event and that there was kind of something exciting that they were going to surprise me with well basically it's arrived it's here I'm going to show it to you so it's their 10th birthday and if you watch my videos you know I like buy from them the whole time and recently they kind of I suppose not found me but yeah I guess kind of found me like I'm on their radar maybe they saw me like tagging them and stuff and they've kind of been been inviting me to their events and that's always like really good when you know a brand that you love and that you like mention and kind of like genuinely buy from when they actually start to see you so they invited me to a few events and then they got in touch a few weeks ago and they said that they were celebrating their 10th birthday this month and they'd love to have me involved kind of in a like a fun thing that they were doing so they asked me to send them five things on my like designer wish list at the moment because obviously their website is like it's where you can buy pre-loved designer so like secondhand designer vintage like really cool things i got my dior my vintage dior on there so i sent them my list and then they chose they searched for them and they found one of them and it's just arrived so let me show you what they gave me Okay, so it came in this box. I've already opened it. I did kind of an unboxing on 
my Instagram, and this is it. It's not a bag. I bet you some of you are thinking maybe it's a bag, but no. Something else that I really wanted. It's a vintage Chanel watch. Hopefully that is focusing. Can you see it? I'll take it out and bring it towards the light. It is absolutely stunning. Like I actually didn't really know about these until maybe six months ago. I actually saw the new version online, which is so expensive and way out of my budget. And then I went on to vestry, of course, what I always do, of course, to see if I can get things secondhand. And I came across their vintage ones. So then when they got in touch about the 10 year thing, this was like top of my list. And I'm so glad this is the one they found me. Black and gold, like the Chanel signature chain all around. And then a black face, Chanel. And then it says Swiss. I don't know if you can see. This camera doesn't zoom in very, very well, um, very closely, but Stunning. Let me take it off and I'll show you a better look too. Here's, hopefully you can see that now. A little bit closer. Stunning. So yeah, I think on that note, I'm gonna finish the vlog. Long time no see on the vlog. <laughs> um, oh yeah, but on the watch, let me show you. <gasps> it is so nice. I'm so happy with it. And I actually have just been wanting a vintage watch for so long. I think they're kind of having a moment. Like, obviously they're stunning especially when it comes to chanel but i think they're especially having a moment like this like vintage style watch even like the newer brands are doing their kind of own versions of them so you'll be seeing that on me a lot in these videos um if i can find similar ones as well i link it down below and i'm not sure if this will still even be going on by the time this video goes live although it might but they're having lots of sales for their 10th birthday what they're like the whole reason they're celebrating and doing this they picked like 10 influencers like instagrammers and youtubers and stuff to give a gift to to celebrate their 10th birthday so if they're still having the sale i'll link that down below in the description box like definitely have a look i'm gonna have a look see is there anything like like cool on there vintage stuff um you never really know what you can find that's like the thrill of it all <laughs> so yeah on that note i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna get editing this so i'll get it live on time tomorrow hopefully you enjoyed this vlog i have a feeling it might be a tiny bit long because i actually did pack a good bit into it but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway as always give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video i think i'm gonna vlog again over the weekend maybe and i need to talk to you about vlogmas i don't think i've even started that conversation yet here on youtube i know i was talking to my instagram followers about it but there's going to be a slight change in my format this year um yeah i was going to put it into this video but i think there's already too much in this one so i'll save that for the next video and i'll share all the details and what the plan is for this year and don't worry i'm still doing it it's just going to be a little bit different this year but i still think you'll enjoy it and i'm starting to get excited for it now as well so anyway i better go i have loads to do <laughs> this place behind me is an absolute mess because i was rushing earlier so i'm gonna clean that have some food and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye